If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. The best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you'll earn. Your money can be inflated away but your knowledge and talent cannot. Be fearful when the markets get greedy, be greedy when the markets get fearful. We don't have to be smarter than the rest. We have to be more disciplined than the rest. Outstanding long-term results are produced primarily by avoiding dumb decisions rather than by making brilliant ones. Do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. If you understood a business perfectly and the future of the business, you would need very little in the way of a margin of safety. So, the more vulnerable the business is, the larger margin of safety you'd need. The most important quality for an investor is temperament, not intellect. All there is to investing is picking good stocks at good times and staying with them as long as they remain good companies. It's good to learn from your mistakes. It's better to learn from other people's mistakes. The trick is, when there is nothing to do, do nothing. I've often felt there might be more to be gained by studying business failures than business successes. If you cannot control your emotions, you cannot control your money. Games are won by players who focus on the playing field, not by those whose eyes are glued to the scoreboard. It's a good idea to review past mistakes before committing new ones. The value of a business is the cash it's going to produce in the future. Asking for financial advice from a financial planner is like asking a barber if you need a haircut. Rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. The difference between successful people and really successful people is that really successful people say no to almost everything. It takes 20 years to build a reputation and 5 minutes to ruin it. If you think about that, you'll do things differently. When they get their ego involved, people do things they shouldn't do. Risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. Honesty is a very expensive gift, don't expect it from cheap people. The only question is whether you're going to do it today or tomorrow. If you keep saying you're going to do it tomorrow, you'll never do it. You have to get on it today. You've got to keep control of your time, and you can't unless you say no. You can't let people set your agenda in life. Never test the depth of river with both the feet. Trust is like the air we breathe, when it's present, nobody really notices, when it's absent, everybody notices. If you don't feel comfortable owning something for 10 years, then don't own it for 10 minutes. Diversification may preserve wealth, but concentration builds wealth. By companies with strong histories of profitability and with a dominant business franchise. Never depend on single income. Make investment to create a second source. Basically, the single most important decision in evaluating a business is pricing power. Time is the friend of the wonderful business. It's the enemy of the lousy business. Do something that if you had all the money in the world, you'd still be doing it. Only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked. The key to success is emotional stability. The key to investing is not assessing how much an industry is going to affect society or how much it will grow, but rather determining the competitive advantage of any given company and, above all, the durability of that advantage. If you buy things you do not need, soon you will have to sell things you need. People will always try to stop you from doing the right thing if it is unconventional. 
Failure comes from ego, greed, envy, fear, imitation. I have success not because I am smart, but because I am rational. Knowing the edge of your competency is important. If you think you know more than you do, you will get in trouble. Whatever you like to do, make it a hobby, and whatever the world likes to do, make it a business. Successful investing takes time, discipline, and patience. No matter how great the talent or effort, some things just take time. When investing, pessimism is your friend, euphoria the enemy. A great investment opportunity occurs when a marvelous business encounters a one-time huge, but solvable problem. If you're an investor, you're looking on what the asset is going to do. If you're a speculator, you're commonly focusing on what the price of the object is going to do, and that's not our game. You need to fill your mind with various competing thoughts and decide which makes sense. Always associate yourself with people who are better than you. Investment students need only two well-taught courses, how to value a business and how to think about market prices. It's much easier to stay out of trouble now than to get out of trouble later. Look for companies with high profit margins. Everybody's got a different circle of competence. The important thing is not how big the circle is. The important thing is staying inside the circle. Much success can be attributed to inactivity. Most investors cannot resist the temptation to constantly buy and sell. I make plenty of mistakes and I'll make plenty more mistakes, too. That's part of the game. You've just got to make sure that the right things overcome the wrong ones. To be successful, you should concentrate on the world of companies, not arcane accounting mathematics. You can't make a good deal with a bad person. It is more important to say a no to an opportunity than to say yes. Only when you combine sound intellect with emotional discipline do you get rational behavior. Focus on your customers and lead your people as though their lives depend on your success. It is better to point out your own mistakes than have somebody else do it. Most people get interested in stocks when everyone else is. The time to get interested is when no one else is. You can't buy what is popular and do well. It's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. Wide diversification is only required when investors do not understand what they are doing. Knowing what to leave out is just as important as knowing what to focus on. Focus alone is not enough, putting in the time to commit is also crucial to achieve success. Sound investing can make you very wealthy if you're not in too big a hurry. A bull market is like sex. It feels best just before it ends. The dumbest reason in the world to buy a stock is because it's going up. If you've got the power to raise prices without losing business to a competitor, you've got a very good business. It's not that I want money. It's the fun of making money and watching it grow. I try to buy stock in businesses that are so wonderful that an idiot can run them. Because sooner or later, one will. Don't risk what is important to you to get what is not important to you. We don't get paid for activity, just for being right. As to how long we'll wait, we'll wait indefinitely. The stock market is a wonderfully efficient mechanism for transferring wealth from the impatient to the patient. In the world of business, the people who are most successful are those who are doing what they love. The idea that you try to time purchases based on what you think business is going to do in the next year is the greatest mistake because it's always uncertain. We try to price. We don't try to time at all. 
Emotional makeup is more important than technical skill. Investors should remember that excitement and expenses are their enemies. When people tell me they've learned from experience, I tell them the trick is to learn from other people's experience. The extraordinary business does not require good management. Our goal is to find an outstanding business at a sensible price, not a mediocre business at a bargain price. We don't read other people's opinions. We want to get the facts and then think. I read annual reports of the company I'm looking at and I read the annual reports of the competitors. That is the main source of material. The smartest side to take in a bidding war is the losing side. Ignore the stock market, ignore the economy, and buy a business you understand. Never invest in a business you can't understand. Look at market fluctuations as your friend rather than your enemy, profit from folly rather than participate in it. We like a business with enduring competitive advantages that is run by able and owner-oriented people. When these attributes exist, and when we can make purchases at sensible prices, it is hard to go wrong. If the reason for doing something is that everyone else is doing it, it's not a good enough reason. I think the worst mistake you can make in stocks is to buy or sell based on current headlines. To invest successfully what's needed is a sound intellectual framework for making decisions, and the ability to keep emotions from corroding that framework. The future is never clear, you pay a very high price in the stock market for a cheery consensus. Uncertainty actually is the friend of the buyer of long-term values. You only have to do a very few things right in your life so long as you don't do too many things wrong. The best thing that happens to us is when a great company gets into temporary trouble. If a business does well, the stock eventually follows. We make investment decisions based on our evaluation of the most profitable combination of probabilities. Always invest for the long term. There's no use running if you're on the wrong road. The stock market is there only as a reference point to see if anybody is offering to do anything foolish. When we invest in stocks, we invest in businesses. If you expect to continue to purchase stocks throughout your life, you should welcome price declines as a way to add stocks more cheaply to your portfolio. With a wonderful business, you can figure out what will happen, you can't figure out when it will happen. If you're right about what, you don't have to worry about when. A lot of great fortunes in the world have been made by owning a single wonderful business. If you understand the business, you don't need to own very many of them. Unless you are willing to put in the effort to learn accounting, learn how to read and interpret financial statements, else you really shouldn't select stocks yourself. You shouldn't own common stocks if a 50% decrease in their value in a short period of time would cause you acute distress. As an investor with small capital, one should prefer businesses that have high returns on capital and that require little incremental investment to grow. Risk comes from not knowing what you are doing, so wide diversification is only required when investors are ignorant. The greatest enemies of the equity investor are expenses and emotions. Only buy something that you'd be perfectly happy to hold if the market shut down for 10 years. Mr. Market is kind of a drunken psycho. Some days he gets very enthused, some days he gets very depressed. And when he get really enthused you sell to him, and if he gets depressed, you buy from him. Cash combined with courage in a time of crisis is priceless. We have usually made our best purchases when apprehensions about some macro event were at a peak. 
Fear is the foe of the fattest, but the friend of the fundamentalist. I've made money over the years by buying into good companies run by good people at attractive prices. And I don't try and make it out of buying into the market at one point and selling at another point. A market downturn doesn't bother us. For us and our long-term investors, it is an opportunity to increase our ownership of great companies with great management at good prices. Do what you would do for free, having passion for what you do is the most important thing. You're neither right nor wrong because other people agree with you. You're right because your facts are right and your reasoning is right. If you're doing something you love, you're more likely to put your all into it, and that generally equates to making money. What you really want to do in investments is figure out what's important and knowable. If it's unimportant or unknowable you forget about it. The most important quality for an investor is temperament, not intellect. You need a temperament that neither derives great pleasure from being with the crowd or against the crowd. We all make mistakes. If you can't make mistakes, you can't make decisions. Shares are not mere pieces of paper. They represent part ownership of a business. So, when contemplating an investment, think like a prospective owner. To win, the first thing you have to do is not lose. Intrinsic value can be defined simply. It is the discounted value of the cash that can be taken out of a business during its remaining life. The critical investment factor is determining the intrinsic value of a business and paying a fair or bargain price. The ideal business is one that earns very high returns on capital and that keeps using lots of capital at those high returns. The three most important words in investing. Margin of safety. We will continue to ignore political and economic forecasts, which are an expensive distraction for many investors and businessmen. Risk can be greatly reduced by concentrating on only a few holdings. What we learn from history is that people don't learn from history. You really don't need leverage in this world much. If you're smart, you're going to make a lot of money without borrowing. Good profits simply are not inconsistent with good behavior. The best business returns are usually achieved by companies that are doing something quite similar today to what they were doing five or ten years ago. The market may ignore business success for a while, but eventually will confirm it. I do not like to invest in companies that have too much debt. With debt, particularly long-term debt, increases in interest rates can drastically affect company profits and make future cash flows less predictable. Buy into a company because you want to own it, not because you want the stock to go up. What we really want to do is buy businesses that we would be happy to own forever. Managers and investors alike must understand that accounting numbers are the beginning, not the end, of business valuation. I never attempt to make money on the stock market. I buy on the assumption that they could close the market the next day and not reopen it for five years. Opportunities come in frequently. When it rains gold, put out the bucket, not the thimble. Price is what you pay. Value is what you get. Equities will do well over time, you just have to avoid getting excited when other people are getting excited. When people talk about cash being king, it's not king if it just sits there and never does anything. Thank you for watching. Learn from the rich.org